Italy in the early modern period was one of the wealthiest areas of Europe. Italy had a very advanced and sophistic culture. Many Italians were appalled by the corruption of the church, and there have been several moments that challenge the supremacy of the papacy in Italy since the early Middle Ages. However, despite these factors, the Reformation did not have any lasting impact on Italy. Indeed, there was only a very brief Italian Reformation, and by the 1600s, Protestantism was effectively instinct in Italy. Catholicism was actually strengthened by the failed Italian Reformation. Protestantism failed to establish itself on the peninsula for three reasons. The enormous political power of the Catholic Church, the state's support for the Counter-Reformation, and the Inquisition, and the popular attachment to Catholicism. Background. It has been widely stated that Italian society in the Renaissance was largely secular. This has been challenged by Burkhardt, among others. The elite was largely secular, and the humanist class of scholars was more interested in the classics than the Bible. However, the majority of the country was religious. Italians went to the Mass and took a part in religious festivals. The morals and the beliefs of the populace were very much influenced by the Catholic Church. This is remarkable given the corruption and the decadence of the papacy. People believe that the clergy and the monastic orders have become way too corrupt in Italy. Monks were accused of being lazy and more interested in lives of ease. These corruption reports were probably exaggerated by Christian humanists, but there's no doubt to believe that the Italian churches were corrupt as they could be. Italian citizens have been worried by the church's failures as of late and were concerned that corrupt clergy could not save their immortal souls. There was a long history of heresy in Italy with multiple citizens joining groups in northern cities that were also against the Catholic Church. They soon developed their own practices and a famous religious revival was held by Girolamo Savonarola in the 1490s because of all the new religions as a celebration. Unfortunately, he was burned at the stake for encouragement of believing in other religions by the Catholic Church. Despite the fact citizens thought Italy would reject the Catholic Church because of all the trouble they had caused recently, they did not get their wish granted, and that Catholic Church stayed in Italy. Italy in the early modern period was one of the wealthiest areas in Europe. Italy had a very advanced, sophisticated culture. Many Italians were appalled by the corruption of the church, and there had been several movements that challenged the supremacy of papacy in Italy since the early Middle Ages. However, despite the factors, Reformation did not have any lasting impact on Italy. And indeed, there was only a very, very brief Italian. After seeing what happened in Italy, we've decided to allow Protestantism. And the main reason of this is because Nobody should have to follow someone just because they have a high position in a certain religion. And everyone should get their own religious beliefs.